Smoko check, a four egg omelet with cold pulled roast chicken, grilled cheese, trident sweet chili sauce and English breakfast tea in a polka dot cup. Bloody marvellous. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, pie. I hope you've had a bloody marvellous day. I certainly have. My last vlog and social media post for 2023. My 2023 finale. Bloody marvellous. Somewhere amongst this time lapse is the thumbnail that I've used for this vlog and for my Instagram photograph. Okay, let's get on with the show. Hello. Well, welcome to my last vlog of 2023, my finale. So since I finished up work on the, around about the 17th of December, I think it is, yes, uh, well, maybe, um, the 15th, last day of work, I've been just largely based at home here, just quietly going about mowing lawns, doing little projects and stuff like that. I've, I've quite enjoyed it. Um, just quiet, simple. Uh, the weather hasn't uh, played much of a part in it, but, you know, we have managed to get the lawns down to a manageable state now. Um, they needed a, a good going over with the petrol mower. And now we're down to the electric mower and it's nice and easy to mow them. And I've been doing a little bit of work out the back, around the shed and stuff like that. and Sort of slowly just relaxing and getting uh, used to uh, not having to get up and go to work uh, every day. Um, you know, until um, I go back to work on the 8th. So I had a little bit of time to think and recoup and refresh. And uh, that, that, that's been quite good. And I've sort of planned ahead my my strategy, which my, my strategy is essentially to, you know, try and keep things as quiet as possible and as simple as possible and to do little things that I want to get done and slowly do something every day and move towards ultimately a, um, an organised, quiet, easy, simple life. And I, I feel like I've made small amounts of progress but yes possibly um, need a little bit a little bit of time and stuff so we'll see how that goes rather than trying to go for some large grandiose uh, sort of type uh, things um, clearly obviously in the area of the uh, social media uh, I've sort of I started the year doing a daily vlog a daily Instagram and a daily TikTok, whereas, and then I started live on Instagram or live on TikTok or YouTube. So I've quietened that down now, and I focus more on my my lives, and then still doing Instagram, TikTok, and um, vlogging, but you know, less not on the daily. Basis. So that's given me a little bit more time to manoeuvre, organise and sort of plan things ahead. So I'm sort of still working on that. I would like to get some work done on uh, my hats or my merchandising. And I've got some ideas I want to set, set up a little uh, store where I and maybe do some uh, t-shirts and, and that sort of thing. So we're, we're sort of... You know, looking at new things, but rationalising some of the old ones, realising that I can't do everything at once. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll try and, and see how that goes. Uh, the work uh, thing has been quite interesting. It's been quite a sort of unsettling year as we transition from Wintech through to Tipukinga in the last couple of years, I guess. And now the whole thing's being disestablished, so totally unknown what's going to happen in the new year. 
um, sort of in some ways looking forward to it and others not and generally at, at the coalface level um, my experiences have been that there's no no real change at all I just keep doing the same old stuff that I've that I've always done since <laughs> 1972 uh, really um, I've learned a little bit along the way and I put that into practice but it's, it's still pretty much just doing the same as I've always done and it, it seems to work and it seems to be what people want getting them prepared and ready to start their own uh, learning journey uh, so to speak so yeah a uh, big thanks I think needs to be uh, my lovely wife for putting up with me with all my social media and things that I do I uh, really appreciate that and some of my long-time followers, um, Moz42, of course, and uh, David from Desmond Stonders, Howie Jones. Um, yeah, just uh, great people to have in my uh, social media, and I, I really appreciate their inputs and their, uh, their feedback and, and the things that they do. And to all of my, um, you know, I can't mention everybody, obviously, but to all of my follow followers and people that see what I do and people that encourage me along the way those that uh, give me a bit of stick or, or that sort of thing or engage with engage with me in many different levels um, yeah thank you very much for 2023 and uh, keep it up for 2024 you're all bloody marvelous Okay, let's see what the numbers tell us. Well, the steps have sort of been up and down. As you can see, Christmas Day didn't get too many steps. Today uh, was a very wet inside day, and again, not too many steps. But generally speaking, um, we're definitely sort of averaging maybe 5,000, which is good. I'd like to do more. And slowly, the, uh, the weight is sort of coming down hopefully and well we'll just have to see what happens here's a wee challenge for you name the term given to the point in the moon's orbit at which it is nearest to the earth put your answer in the comments below the video please in our last challenge someone who is vainglorious is very proud of themselves as was first pointed out by Moz42 and reinforced by David from Desmond Stonders. Moz takes the place on the Hall of Fame, the last for 2023. Who will be the first for 2024? Stand by for the next exciting episode. Thanks everybody for your support liking, subscribing and such during 2023. I look forward to catching you again in 2024. You're all bloody marvellous. Cheers. Fuel legit. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand. The land of the long white cloud. A place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.